everybody, it's Erin, and I just got really bored, so I decided to make a video. Plus, I mean, it's been a long time since I made a video, and I guess you could say a lot of things have happened, but none that are coming to the top of my head as soon as I start making the video, that's great. But, uh, yes, I am wearing the exact same thing that I did on the day 30 of the challenge thingy, jig, but that was like a month ago, so I don't even care. So, just, yeah, don't judge me, it's been a month. I can wear something more than once, you know, two different videos. I mean, I did for like two straight days, you know, in the first two days, which is probably why people stop watching. And just the fact that I'm boring. I have a very terrible life. <laughs> oh my god. Um, basically, like, the thing that's coming to the top of my head right now is that lately like just a few days ago I started watching the stage play of Phantom of the Opera not the movie the stage play with you know stage and it's musical and not the movie Try, I, I tried telling somebody that before and they just didn't get it and it just irked me but um and honestly call me a geek if you want to but I really really like it and I'm hoping one of these days you know some point in my life I can actually see it live because I know my friend Logan she's seen it live before and she said that you just you have to because there's the whole chandelier effect in the opening and at the end of act one and she's, I've seen it like I've seen it all the way through once and that because uh, our theater class was watching it and then I realized it was on Netflix I'm just like hey I'm just gonna get ahead of them and then I ended up watching the entire thing and I nearly cried at the end no joke uh, and so now I'm like already done while we in the class are only halfway through and we're not gonna finish act two until after fall break which is this week which I'm really happy about because I thought that I would like high school but so far I'm not really I'm gonna be honest. It's pretty awful. There's tons of homework and I'm not good with homework. But I mean since there are higher consequences for not doing homework, I have been be uh, doing it uh, and complaining about it the entire way of course, but still doing it anyway. Because back in middle school, you know, it's just if you didn't do your homework it's a zero on it and then you know, if you keep not doing it, you just get detention. Well, with this, with high school, for me, first time you don't do it, uh, you know, it's academic support, which is staying after school. And really, like, in my classes, none of them are really uh, all that homework. Uh, there's not that much homework in the classes, except for, I think, the two that have the most homework are uh, World Geography and English. Oh my god. I used to love English and now I hate it. And the teacher in it is cool and all. Honestly, Miss Edmund, she's really, she's cool, I guess. I mean, she's likes Harry Potter, so I mean, I can't, can't really judge her for that. And she's just, she's an okay person. She gives out way too much homework. And she says it's like part of the curriculum. I'm like, this, like, I don't think it is, though. Like, maybe part of it is, but really the fact that we're having homework every night, she's like, I'm not going to be like other teachers and, you know, never give you homework. I'm like, well, that's going to make us all hate you. And honestly, if I were a teacher, I wouldn't want my kids to hate me. I'd want them to respect me, so, you know, I'd still, you know, if there is homework, I'd... I don't know where I was going there. <laughs> it was 420. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm such a dork. But, you know, I wouldn't give out that much homework because I know homework is awful. And I might give it, I mean, I'd give it out if they were struggling with it. But, you know, not if, you know, it's perfectly fine. She just gives out homework whenever, even if we're not even struggling with it. And it's awful. Ugh used to love English, now I hate it. Um, that's what else I was going to say. Oh yeah, I am going to the midnight premiere of Catching Fire. I don't know if anybody else is, but 
I am, if there is one. There probably is, according to the website. Uh, that's something I've never said before, and hopefully will never ever say again. <laughs> okay. It, said, it pretty much said so on the website, but I'm still not exactly sure. I really hope there is, because I just, I love Midnight Premieres. I've been to two of them, actually, and, and, but, you know, the two that I went to, they were ultra fun. It was Deathly Hollows Part 1 and 2. I would have gone to Half-Blood Prince premiere, but my mom's just like, well, you know, there might, there, like, she wanted me to, uh, she wanted to, uh, know where the scary scenes were before she let me watch it. And there were, like, only two, and they weren't even that bad. Or maybe they, I can't remember. <laughs> okay. There was, like, one, and then, like, one other as well. But neither of them were. Well, one of them, I, I was kind of scary. Like, it kind of jumped at me, but that was it. I'm just rambling at this point. I'm going to make, like, a total nine-minute video of me just being stupid. Because I'm bored. And so, yeah, definitely going to the Catching Fire premiere, if there is one. Because that's my favorite book out of the entire three books. And I just, I can't wait to see Johanna and see how Jenna Malone does as her, Regina, or Malone, or something like that. Just whatever her name is. I think it's Jenna Malone, though. I could be wrong, but anyway. And, uh, I just, I can't wait to see how they all do. I want to see where they skip scenes and where they didn't, see if they do any. It hopefully, it looks like it's a lot better than the Hunger, the first movie, which... The more I watch it, the more I see that's wrong with it, and it kind of, it's, you know, it's an alright movie, okay? It, it was pretty much accurate to the book, but, you know, there were just some things where I'm just like, well, why'd you do that? And But this one looks a lot better. Um, and that's all I can think about that I've done so far. Um, I went to the homecoming dance, uh three or four weeks ago. It was very fun, except for the last hour when a bunch of shit happened. I probably shouldn't even been talking about it. <laughs> like, I basically, it was with our group of friends, and like there was a misunderstanding between two of them, and, that, and, and then she went and told all her friends about it because she heard it wrong and thought that he was being mean, and blah 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 blah. Guy in it got slapped three times, even though he shouldn't have. I ended up slapping a girl when I probably shouldn't have. It was just, it was a mess, and they hated me for like three days, but then they're just like, yeah, you're fine, we forgive you, and then they forgave the guy who was the main one in it, uh, like two days later, and now we just don't talk about it. In fact, the fact that I'm mentioning it in this video is probably a bad idea, in case any of them see it. Uh, I'm sorry, Kaylee. You're okay, I, I still like you. Anyway, I should probably be wrapping it up here. Uh... So I will see you guys in a video soon because I am making a video for a certain somebody. I can't say who, but you know. Anyway, I will see you guys sometime uh, this week because I'm probably going to get bored again as well. So anyway, 